Hello guys, in this problem, I will be explaining the lead code problem 477, total hamming distance. So in this, uh, we are given an array of numbers and we need to find out the total hamming distance between all pair of numbers. So like this is one pair, 4, 2 is one pair and 14, 2 is one pair. So all unique pair of numbers, we need to uh, find the hamming distance. So what is hamming distance exactly? So hamming distance is basically like suppose we have these two numbers 4 that is it is a uh, uh, in bit binary representation is 100 uh, zero zero and 14 is basically 1110 one, so hamming distance if we need to find out then we need to find the XOR of these two numbers that is 0 this is 1 this is 0 this is 1 so XOR is 1010 zero, one, zero. And we need to find out the how many bits are set in this XOR. So that is 2. Right. This is uh, this 2 is the hamming distance. So suppose we find out uh, further for 14 and 2. 1, 1, 1, 0. And then 2 is 1, 0. So XOR is basically 0, 0, 1, 1. So again we can see the hamming distance is 2. And then the final one that is remaining is 4 and 2. So that is the last pair. So 1, 0, 0. And then 0, 1, 0. So in this you can see uh, that the number of bits that are set in this XOR is again 2. So uh, since we need to find the total hamming distance, it is 2 plus 2 plus 2, that is 6. So the first approach we can try out is basically like whatever um, simulation. So whatever simulation I have done over here like 4. Uh, so we find basically the number of pairs. So um, number of pairs we find and then we find uh, the XOR of those pa uh, those two pairs. And then we count the uh, number of bits in that uh, answer in that XOR. So basically finding the number of pairs is n square and then uh, then basically XOR operation is a big of uh, one operation and then counting the bits is again big of log n operation because we need to uh, go to each and every uh, uh, bit over here so bit operation is basically log n so yeah so let us look at the approach 2 in this approach basically we are trying to replicate the same thing in a much efficient way suppose uh, Instead of writing, uh, finding the number of uh, pairs and then calculating each of them one by one, let us uh, at the first process itself try to write down the numbers and then we check. Let's see. So at this bit position, there are two numbers, two uh, two bits that are alternating. That is zero and one, and here zero and one. So this is going to give contribute two to the answer. Here it is not contributing anything because we do not have any. Uh, alternating bits here we have two alternate bits again 1 and 0 1 and 0 so this will contribute to here also we are again getting 1 and uh, 0 and 1 and 0 and 1 so this also will contribute to 2 so basically we are uh, let's find out uh, the number of uh, set bits set bits is 0 here set bits are 2 set bits are 2 and here set bits is 1 and we multiply them with the number of unset bits so exactly that's what is happening here right so we find uh, which are alternating bits alternating bits and then finally add up so in the whole process we are just dividing uh, based on the number of uh, pairs we are finding instead of doing that we just uh, iterate over the bit positions and count the number of set bits and then multiply them with the unset bits and then finally add them so this is all the process is about.